Introduction of Storybook Animal Farm is an allegorical novella by George Orwell, first published in England on 17 August 1945. And the book tells the story of the group of farm animals who rebels against the human farmer, hoping to create a society where the animals can be equal, free and happy. Ultimately, however, the rebellion is betrayed and the form and ups in the state as bad as it was before under the dictatorship of the pig named Napoleon. After the pig old major died, one day Mr. Jones forgot to feed the animals. The animals were angry and repelled against him. Also they kicked him out of the farm. The whole farm was under animals' control. After that, they created the animalism system and its principles, or it's also known as the Seven Commandments. The climax of the story is when that Napoleon began to be dissatisfied of the snowball. His arrival announced his plan to build a windmill. Napoleon asks the dogs to chase Snowball, and he declares himself the leader of animal form. Napoleon blames and assumes Snowball as a scared animation to develop the form. After that, the animals work harder to build the windmill, but the windmill collapsed, and Napoleon makes the assumption by convincing the animals that Snowball was trying to sabotage the project. The following action started when Jonas is dead. Snowball and Boxer are slowly forgotten. Now, Clover is all. However, the form now has many new animals, such as very industrious horses. A new animal will be told about the rebellion and the principles of animals from Clover. Pilkington from Foxwood was standing his cup in his hand. There are some words he feel he should convey. That is about the unfortunate incident that has happened about the form on and operated by pigs may have an unpleasant effect in the neighborhood, especially on the discipline and order that should be example for all farmers every way. He ended his speech by saying that between the animal form and its neighbors, there should be no conflict of interest whatsoever because the struggle and difficulties are the same. Then, Napoleon who was still standing also had a few words to say. Napoleon is happy that the time of misunderstanding is over. They were given the trust to provoke a rival among the animals on the neighboring farm. The only desire, now and in the past, is to live in peace and normal business relationship with their neighbors. Now the name animal form has been removed. Therefore, the form is known as the manor form. For the conclusion, the time move on and the pigs grow fatter whilst the other animals work harder and are given less food. They now can remember if they were better or worse off under the rules of Mr. Jones. The pigs learn how to walk on two legs and have adopted all the Mr. Jones' bad habits that all major taught them to avoid in his speech. They invite the human ones for against the farm. Napoleon declares that the farm will be called manor form again and the animal watching in the meeting cannot tell the difference between the human and the pig. The moral value of the novel is readers should respect and treat humans or animals equally. Readers should not follow Napoleon's tyrannical leadership and have all the power of the snowball was chased by dogs. For example, Napoleon virtually punished variable sided with the snowball. He placed himself the, in the highest and most powerful position. Why and to who would I like to recommend this book? It is a very good life lesson for animals. It teaches you that humans are friends of our animals. 
also for simplicity, the little sentences and the short chapters when there is a critical to ignore. You can help me. I would like to recommend the book to those who are interested in common sources. The book was very interesting and George Orwell is a very good writer.